Hello, my name is Stephen Prochet, and I am the local history librarian at Robbins Library in Arlington, Massachusetts. In this video, I'm going to go over how to search our digitized Arlington Reports collection, the Town Reports. This is, again, available on the local history page, which you can get to under Collections and Services, and then select Local History. The Town Reports can be found under researching your family and also researching your home. I will note with the caveat, as we open this collection, if you're ever on the Robbins Library Internet Archive page and wanted to select specifically the town reports, you would go to the Arlington Report. In the metadata, just type that in. And this will cover 1842 to 2019. Now, even though these are part of researching your home and researching your family, the 10 reports are really only valuable for the earlier years of the town reports, particularly if you have early Arlington ancestors. Because back then you will see a listing of who owed taxes, town officers, etc. That is, those are good early on to establish one who lived in Arlington or for the years 1842 and 1866 as the town was known, West Cambridge. And if you see higher tax bills, it's best to match that with a map of the area to see who had higher tax bills and see if you can match that to a significant property because addresses will not be listed in the town reports generally. In later years, the town reports are mostly valuable to get a snapshot of town government and, biz and events during the time. So like, it's a good way to discover school committee reports, town reports, what happened in town meetings, and also different departments such as public works, zoning, the libraries, etc. So as in our previous videos, we can limit by year. I should note, we do have them from 1842 onwards, but because our reports were digitized in a combination of years, most of the earlier ones are going to be listed under no date because the way the metadata worked, since you couldn't pick one individual year, it just chooses no date, even though it's like a combination of 1856 to 1857, and sometimes more years than that. For our example today, we're going to search 1858. And we'll open this up. I'm going to go through each page full screen. If you want more information about how to go through an Internet Archive book, I recommend viewing the Arlington Yearbook video. You can also search for a term, but for this video, I'm going to go through each page to give you an idea of what you would find. So we open it's the annual report of the receipts and expenditures of the town of West Cambridge for 1858. Back in 1858, Arlington was still known as West Cambridge. And this report, as promised, you get the receipts received from Josiah Russell, who was the collector of taxes. Russell is a very prominent name in Arlington history. You get the teacher salaries as well. For those doing like genealogy, sometimes that's a good way to discover female ancestors in a source you might not otherwise find them in. You also get a report of the fire department expenditures, the highway expenditures, the town expenses, the town house and the almshouse. We'll see a listing of the finance committee. 
you also see a listing of the town officer. So like, also a good idea, good way to see how a town governed back then. So the standard select board, the assessors, overseers of the poor, school committee, town clerk, treasurer, collector, constables, surveyors of highway, field drivers, more an indication of the farming operations Arlington had back then. Fish preservers, measures of wood, the town sexton, surveyors of lumber, the Mount Pleasant Cemetery Committee, liquor agent, and the fire department engineers, among others. And then you get an alphabetical list of who was assessed taxes. So for the early town reports, that's a good way to establish residence and some ancestors. So it's listed alphabetically based on last name. And sometimes you will see larger tax bills. This could indicate significant business or who had significant property in Arlington. A pretty good example would be the Robbins family. As we can see here, we see Nathan Robbins listed with $416.02 in taxes back in 1858. That was a pretty significant number. And this is, of course, done alphabetically. At any time, you can search by last name if you wanted to get to a name specifically. And then you see non-residents. And at the very end, you get a listing of the school committee report. At this time, they were organized by South Districts. You see largest number of scholars, smallest average attendance, who taught it, and a narrative of the school. And that is usually the town report. Later editions become much longer with more town department reports. I thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any other questions about searching the town reports or other local history questions, you can email me at arlhist, oralhist at minlib.net. Thank you.